Hypnosis to Change Your Life with Dr. Steve G. Jones. This is a great question. This comes up a lot. Um, some schools of uh, thought say that uh, you should be a, uh, let's say, a therapist. We'll just give that a T. You should be a therapist. And underneath your role as a therapist, you can do other things. You can do, we'll give hypnosis an H, we'll, we'll say NLP, uh, maybe, may, maybe Reiki, prob probably not if you're a mainstream therapist. Um, certain things just start to sound a little bit too far off the beaten path. But maybe do a little bit of hypnosis, a little bit of NLP, a little bit of coaching. Under therapy, you wouldn't do those first and foremost. As I mentioned, as I've mentioned before, Therapists have other things to do, uh, but you would have them as backup. Furthermore, some people who are therapists, or better yet, some people who are MDs, uh, a uh, psychiatrist, for example, or a PhD uh, psychologist, would say, would argue that if you're not able to treat the, the challenge with therapy and use this as a backup, then you shouldn't specialize in just one of these things, that these things shouldn't really be specialties that these, this should be a specialty. I'm a, you know, a therapist, for example, a clinical psychologist or a psychiatrist or a marriage and family therapist or something. But if you're not, if you're not one of those, you shouldn't be able to do these. And also, uh, if you are working, and the, the other part of the question was, if you're uh, doing weight loss, you should just be an expert in that, probably through some mainstream uh, certification. When I say mainstream, I mean being a psychologist, psychiatrist, marriage and family therapist, something along those lines, something where you have a uh, university-based degree, uh, not from a, uh, a hypnosis uh, institution. So I say that is that sounds great. You know, having having gone through uh, academia all the way through the doctoral level, I'm in I'm in favor of uh, highly knowledgeable people. I, I I turn to them when I have a medical issue. I go to a medical doctor, for example. I don't go to someone who who uh, thinks of themselves as specializing in in that issue, but they don't have uh, an MD behind their name. However, uh, a lot of these bodies of knowledge have become very robust. In fact, mainstream therapists know comparatively little about NLP and hypnosis compared to uh, a highly qualified NLP trainer or a master level hypnotherapist or a business coach who's been coaching people for a long time. In fact, all they really know is what they've been trained in and a lot of what they've been trained in is how to keep themselves out of legal situations because they have that credentialing behind their names and they're very limited. There's a lot they can't do. In fact, I know a therapist who I trained to do hypnosis who lives in Los Angeles. What he's got to do legally is some days he wears his hyp hypnotherapist hat when he goes into the office. Some days he wears his, his uh, therapist hat with the licensed credentials and that's the way his lawyer told him to get around it. So we get into a lot of strange areas here. But offhand, I would say that's a, that's a nice argument that you need to be, have a mainstream therapist uh, credential uh, and then do these under this. But I don't think that the mainstream therapists realize just how robust these have become. For example, my NLP training program is, if you go through the whole thing, is 30 hours, 30 hours of video. And then beyond that, you have to practice on your own. The, your average therapist is going to know very little about NLP. They might know about rapport and mirroring and anchoring, but that's probably it unless they've gone uh, to uh, an advanced seminar or really looked into it, they really don't know a lot. So, so I say that's a nice argument, that's an interesting point, but uh, that's, really, that's not a real reflection of reality. A lot of these uh, specialties are, are legitimate, uh, all of them are, if done the right way, in and of themselves. Hypnosis to Change Your Life with Dr. Steve G. Jones.